What's up, heathens? So today we're talking more about this. Shut the fuck up. You don't, you don't know shit. The sun and the moon orbit around us. It don't make sense. The earth gotta be flat. You can forcefully suck my nut. And I hope you offended. Okay, well, not just that, but we're also talking more about why there's water above the firmament, why gravity is essential to weight, and subliminal messaging concerning the flat earth in mass media. So if you'd like to know more about that, as well as shut the fuck up, bitch, and suck my balls, then stay tuned. You can't. Shut the fuck up. You don't, you don't know shit. I want to tell y'all the earth fucking flat. We ain't fucking moving. The sun and the moon orbit around us. Okay? That blue shit you see up there ain't number fucking water. <laughs> the sky is blue because there's water on the other side of the firmament. That is some of the dumbest stuff I have heard. Ever. Uh, no, I mean, the sky is blue because of how light refracts off of our atmosphere. Light refracts off of our atmosphere and it gives us that blue kind of glow. That's why, that's also why, you know, the moon goes red sometimes. I know it's hard to believe now because what you've been taught as a child, but it's true. It's true. We're not living on no fucking ball, spinning on no axis, going around the goddamn sun, but supposedly see the same constellation of stars every single fucking night. Well, we actually don't see the same constellations every single night. Uh, we don't. We don't see it at all. Uh, they change. I mean, they change position in our sky, and they even disappear uh, at times. Just because you, whenever you've looked up into the sky, you quote unquote see the same stars, doesn't mean that everybody does. I think it was uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson who his one big problem with Titanic was that the the stars in the sky were wrong for that area of the world. Um, and I mean, you could tell a lot about, uh, a per, uh, uh, you know, your position on the planet just from what stars are available to you. You can tell what time of year it is, where you are on the planet. Like, it, the, the, I mean, you can triangulate with stars very easily. I mean, people have been using stars to navigate for a long time. They say sometimes we have meteor showers or some events will happen in the sky that the whole world get to see at one time. How the fuck is that possible if we live on a ball of water? Okay, well, he's mentioned this a few times already. Ball of water. We don't think that we live on a ball of water. You're confusing reality with Waterworld, a shitty late 90s movie starring Kevin Costner. That's not what we live on. We live on an oblate spheroid that has land on uh, not even most, like not like most of the planet's water. But, but I mean, that doesn't make it all water. It, it, and it's not even that everybody sees it. Like, like for instance, uh, this most recent eclipse, not everybody could see the full eclipse. Not everybody could see the eclipse at all. It was just a very specific portion of, of the world that could see the eclipse. And there's other eclipses that happen that we can't see. I mean, I really don't know what he's talking about here. Just because people market shit to you that you can see it doesn't mean the entire world can see it. It kind of seems like a narcissistic thing for him. Like he feels like the entire world revolves around him. That explains helio uh, the, having the, the geocentric model. It explains just a whole bunch of fuckery in this video. And you know, that's what science really looks for. Explanatory power. Something that this motherfucker doesn't have at all. It don't make sense. The earth gotta be flat. If everybody go see it, the earth gotta be flat. Be careful what you say, uh, news people. You, you be fucking yourself up. Be careful, news people. You're fucking yourselves up by agreeing with reality. Oh, just masterful. I can do that too. Is this... Fuck, it's flat. <laughs> Pick that shit up. I need this. You telling me gravity pulled that down? No, it, it's heavy. It just fell. I, I've been hearing this a lot lately. It's just heavy. That's why it's fell. Oh, that's why it fell. It, it, it really, it really strikes me as odd how they do this because weight, it, the major component in that is gravity. Like if there was no gravity, then why does this fall down? Why doesn't it fall up or sideways or this way or that way or that way or that way? Like what, what compels this thing right here to go 
on the ground because that's what gives it weight. That's that's what the weight is, is is uh, gravity's effect on objects have it have a certain force being pulled to the earth. That's what weight is. This gravity pulled me down. What the fuck is gravity? Uh, gravity is a force between two objects in which we can calculate. Um, it depends on both of the masses of the objects. Um, it also has a gravitational constant attached to it. If you were to work out the math for the Earth and, and like your body, you could figure out what that force of gravity is, which would be the fucking weight. Scientists so say it's a force. You can forcefully suck my nuts, nigga. Whoa, whoa. This went into fucking Weinstein Spacey era area here real quick. I get that a lot of people are turned off by my delivery of things, <laughs> you know, but I mean, holy shit. This guy right here is just like, suck my nuts, forcefully suck my nuts. I don't think forcefully sucking your nuts is really going to be all that enjoyable for you, bud. But also it's sexual harassment, abuse, sexual assault, any of those fucking things. Fuck you, bitch. Oh shit. That is compelling argumentation right there. The fuck you bitch method. It's like he's playing chess and he just knocks all over the board, shits on it, walks away like he won the fuck. Y'all don't be stupid. For the people that believe it's a flat earth, more power to you. For the people that's open-minded, taking in consideration that it's flat, you're trying. But the motherfuckers who believe it's still a ball of water and the people who don't want to change or try to open their eyes, fuck you, suck my dick. You just this guy just really loves fellatio. And this is coming from a guy who talks about sucking dick all the time. <laughs> Not even I talk about sucking dick this much it, or, or, or so um, uh, enthusiastically because we got suck my nuts, forcefully suck my balls, now suck my dick. Like, who the fuck? <laughs> who the fuck argues like this? I would say a troll, but there are people out there that actually talk like this and think like this. There, there's very little scientifically I can respond to in this video because 90% of this video is suck my nuts. A stupid bitch. You a stupid brainwashed bitch. Remember that. And I hope you offended. So you can leave me alone with little comments. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. You writing like, oh yeah, fuck you, suck my balls. Which is kind of funny how, uh, you know, I don't know if you remember, but I remember getting a comment where it's like, have you ever noticed flat earthers just speak intelligently? And then it comes to this guy like, fuck you, suck my balls. <laughs> the earth flat is fucked. They throw subliminal messages all the fucking time in TV shows. He goes some right here. Oh, oh, great. So his major bits of evidence that the earth is flat is fucking Simpsons. Steroid Santa Claus kicks and deals. It's a long fly ball going back, back, and the ball shatters the sky, bringing the ocean itself down into the stadium. Oh, Simpson just broke this dream's reality wide open. He says that this is like a subliminal message. This is not subliminal. Like, I don't know if you've ever studied subliminal messages or even looked up like the fucking definition. But subliminal means that like you you don't necessarily know that you're being shown it, like it's subtle. This is pretty much a joke. I mean, it cut it, like it has muscular Santa, and then you know it cracks open the firmament, and then it cuts back to the hot dog announcer telling everybody that he broke the firmament. Okay, again, not subtle, not hidden in any way, not in any way subliminal. This is some fucking like trippy LSD shit right here. Please drink responsibly imported Cognac Hennessy. This is a Hennessy commercial. It's a Hennessy commercial. 
You, you, so you think that they're trying to sub, like subliminally tell you that the earth is flat and there's a dome but in a Hennessy commercial? What kind of fucking Illuminati goddamn shit is being pumped into your brain, dog? Exactly. You know how you follow the money and tell you the event that's going to happen on the back of the money? Remember the, the trade centers and shit? Well, look at this. You see the motherfucker? What am I even fucking looking at here? Why does he have chemtrails on the $50 bill back there? They're clouds. This is not chemtrails. And then he's got dome because, because there's a border around it. Like that's not subliminal at all. Like that's not, I don't even know what the fuck this is supposed to prove. Subliminal messaging. No. <laughs> of course you do. Stop being in denial. Oh, okay. So those have frames. And so thus there's a dome and chemtrails. It's flat. You know, it's flat. I give you more proof that the motherfucker flat. Then you, you oh, how, how about you, your, for, for the fuck, fuck NASA, fuck, uh, science, fuck all of that. If you, I think he had a stroke and then he realized he was just like, oh yeah, now it's in my bed to say fuck NASA and everything else. Fuck NASA. You believe we live on a ball of water? You prove it, bitch. You show me that we live on a motherfucking ball of water. I win. Oh, okay. Cause we can prove that we live on a globe earth. I mean, we have various ways of proving it. Not just like images from nasa but we could also get images from the european space agency or uh the japanese we could we could get images from them you can find globe earth images from them but then i guess you're just going to blame it on the illuminati so i guess those are out how can you personally experiment and tell that we live on a globe earth well you could get a friend in another city to put out a poll on a clear day and you put out a poll Please restrain yourself from fucking yourself in the ass with the pole. I know that it's going to be hard not to get the two poles and at midday exactly in the two locations, you measure the shadows and then using some basic geometry that I'm sure you can look up on Google, you can figure out the circumference of the earth. And that's like circumference all around that, that proves that it's a globe. Well, I'm going to be waiting a long ass time because you can't fucking do it. The earth flat. Suck my nuts. Oh my god. That's like that's like his his capstone of the argument. The earth flat. Suck my nuts. Like can you imagine just having an actual conversation with this guy? He's just like, no, we live in an oblate spheroid. See, here's how you can tell. Suck my nuts. I don't give a fuck. You stupid bitch. Think about it. The earth flat. Suck my nuts. Oh, I don't know what your nuts have to do with proving the globe earth, sir. Could we, could we look at some actual information? Suck my nuts. I don't give a fuck. This is supposed to be an intellectual conversation, but instead you're just telling me to suck your nuts. I can't even say that without laughing anymore. <laughs> just from now on, anytime, anytime I get into an argument with anybody, it's just going to end with, ah, fuck you, bitch. Suck my nuts. <laughs> Hashtag suck my nuts. Oh man, thank you heathens for making it to the end. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Uh, it would really help me out if you shared this video along with the uh, brother video to this. So if you will go and share those out to a flat earther you love. Make sure you smash that like button and leave me a comment. Hey, wouldn't be a bad idea if you subscribed while you're down there. Don't forget to stand up and use your voice. Bye heathens.